I want to show you this before we uh, run away to Sag Lake, but the uh, polar bear went in through here and pretty much, I wouldn't say destroyed the cabin, we got everything knocked around and all it, that's for sure. So he went in through, made a big mess and come back here through. Might be hard to see, but there's two bears way over here on the east, it's going on north there. Those tree, tree bears. And there's another big polar bear well over on the other side there. That's the fourth one that we've seen so far today. But just look at the view. Just just amazing. Might be hard to see, but we got a golden eagle flying around there. We got a sea land ice. Well guys, we're in Sugly Q now. Uh, some people call it Saddleback. Uh, we came across from Hebron there, that's where we're staying to. We're up uh, doing a ice fishing and kind of an exploring trip. And uh, we wanted to come to this site right here. In this site, uh, there was a plane crash back in 42, I believe it was. And uh, there was a sign written about it. And I'm gonna put a link in the description and uh, the sign tells the story of what happened here. So so if you want to, you could listen to the sign and, uh, and I'm just gonna take a few video clips just around this general area here and uh, so hope you enjoy it is a tragic sign but uh, uh, just like uh, sharing a bit of the history here uh, northern labrador all right On this iceberg here, so my buddy could uh, get a couple of pictures. <laughs> oh, you can't get no better ice there than going when you drink it. Year old ways. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Paul was ptarmigan hunting yesterday, but now he's fishing. That's his first one there, and it's a dandy. Three and a half or three and a half pounds or so. Oh yeah. yeah. A lot of day left here. You know, since we got uh, our firewood there a few days ago, I have not seen another tree since, except for some willows and stuff. Uh, I'm just looking at this, you know, you get a lot of little bits of wood around the shoreline, you know. You had to camp out or anything. This, but yeah, no trees grows up here. I've seen this right here, so I want to get a little closer for a better view. Look at that, amazing. And what a view I got right here. Just look at this. And where we're fishing to, it's way down there. It looks like little specks of noise. Well, a lot of feed we're going to have. Right here on the fishing spot. That's the head of the char right there. Potato, drawn butter, salt, meat, onions. Compliments to the chef there. That's good. 
First time trying that way. Huh? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Char, the cheek to char. Well, well, well. Just looking to haul up right here. No, six pounds. Six pounds. Six. Ninety-six. Got a fish flicking there, and there's fish flicking here and over there. They're hitting on. Well, Clemens, my buddy, you had a fantastic day. Oh, yes, <laughs> Oh, look at that. I'm gonna weigh your biggest one. Seven pounds. Yeah. That might be a little bit heavier than that, but uh, it's still a lovely, lovely char. Well, I tell you, it's still hard to believe that uh, we're raking up here in uh, Hebron, Labrador. There were some houses along here. You can still see the old foundations there left there. And some of the old buildings are falling down, but they're restoring some buildings here as well. And uh, is open to uh, tourism during the summertime. Just look at the foundation. It's built up on all these rocks. And this is a long building. It certainly uh, stood the test of time. And just look how big some of those rocks actually are. It's incredible. And just look at that. And all these buildings, these big ones, these were prefabricated in Germany. Uh, took apart and labeled and brought over here and uh, put back together. There's houses over here as well, and, and on over there there's two cemeteries. One was for uh, the Inuit, and the other was for like uh, uh, other people. Not quite sure what that building was for, but still got the same kind of foundation. So, great workmanship. Back in uh, 1959, the people of Hebron got relocated. And some people went to uh, Nain, Hopedale, and Kovic. You know, Clemens, our guide for this trip, uh, he was four or five months old when uh, Hebron got uh, relocated. And here's a list of all the people that were uh, relocated. And right here you have Clemens. And uh, Bo is his father, right there. Uh, my first caribou hunting trip oh, 20 odd years ago, uh, Boris and Clemens led the uh, guided for that one as well. And that was uh, probably one of the most uh, exciting hunts I ever had. And also, uh, let me have a look right here. Uh, Levy uh, Nokasok, uh, that's his cabin over there that was uh, broken into by polar bear. And kind of, it was actually broken into uh, four times this year by polar bears. And uh, he's over there now cleaning up the mess. You know, uh, one really, really, uh, sad part of history here along the north coast especially was uh, 1918 uh, 1919 uh, from the spanish flu and uh, a lot of people uh died and you know it was kind of overwhelming and in places they had to build uh bury, bury them in mass graves and there's actually a mass grave there where that grass is too i'm pretty sure that's where it's at and uh, it pretty much forever actually changed history on the north coast so many people died well, you know, uh, this was our first trip here, and uh, I tell you, to wake up in Hebron every morning is very special, and I can only imagine what it means to Clemens and Levy. Uh, very, it is truly, you know, a sacred land. Well, oh, guys, just... That beautiful char I just caught right there. Whew. I'm gonna kill it and then I'm gonna weigh in. Yeah. All right. Official weigh in here now. Seven pounder. I didn't think it was that big. Seven pounds. So that is the biggest fish so far at 112 ounces. Right here in Hebron Fuhrer. What a char. I had to wait on once. What a beautiful looking fish. Well, just, just look at this char here. I don't think it was as big as the last one, but I'm gonna weigh him anyway. Just to make sure. <laughs> oh, 
what beautiful fish. Oh my God, what a morning, what a morning, what a morning. Five and a half pounds. Just look at that. What an amazing morning. And the best thing is, I got another contender right here. All right, it's gonna be close with this one. Six and a six and a half, yeah, six and a half. Just look at that. Well, guys, I think that's going to be a clue up for me. I said I come in if I got uh, two or three more. Or I got four, so and a really big fish. More than happy with what I got. Best morning ever, race fishing, right here in Hebron, Labrador. Oh well, guys, that hill there, that's on the back of Hebron, and there's two leads of snow, one to the right and one to the left. And when those harbor ice was broke up in Hebron, they would come up over these hills on uh, dog team. And they would come up over the hill on dog team so they can come and go in the back country. Just getting ready to leave Hebron there now, but there's a polar bear over there on the ice. I'm gonna have a look at in there. Way over on the other side, way over there is where we clean the fish, but that's what we plan to do. Over there, if any bears come around, it's not going to be uh, sleeping to. But since it's going there, let's go have a little look at it. All the bears, the sixth one now we've seen this trip. That fish four of their tracks. As far as Nain, trying to reorganize some stuff right here and get a little lunch and we're going to push it on to uh, Makovic tonight, another five and a half hours or so, so it's going to be late before we get there. Well, we got back uh, a couple hours ago, uh, ended up putting a little over 2100 kilometers on the screw, so we've done quite a bit of going. And so the first meal we're going to have now, we're going to fry up a bit of that, uh, some of this Hebron char. Just look at the beautiful color that is. I'm going to put some in the smoker tomorrow as well. I uh, never had much memory space left on my uh, camera, so, uh, so I had to spirit the line a little bit. But anyway, cheers, guys. We really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, we had a fantastic trip, and I hope to see y'all on the next one. All the best from the big man.